players, if you are a replayer, you can still tap on the screen for hearts. For anybody else live, good morning, and I am a mess, as you always. You know, it's early morning and it's a holiday, which means I have barely gotten uh, out of bed with the kids and everything, so we're having a lazy start to the morning. But if you're new to me, welcome to Daily Money Habits. Why? Because money doesn't sleep. So we're on every single day, seven days a week, to talk to you about money habits. Um, my name is Joanna Zarek, and it is my mission in life, or I've made it my mission in life, to help people learn more about personal finance, to give them, uh, share my tips and tricks and how I manage my money and I ha what I've learned over the last 20 years, and to share it with you. So welcome to Monday. And Monday, we talk about Mint. <laughs> and why do we talk about Mint? It's a tool that I use to really track my money, both in terms of the inflows and the outflows, uh, to know where my money's going, and also to uh, get a quick snapshot on my, on my net worth. So there's a few things that really, really matter when it comes to managing money. On one, um, anyone who's kind of gotten to a level of maturity about money will tell you that knowing where your money's going um, and where it's usually you know where it's coming from, but the biggest issue people have is knowing where your money's going. So using a tool like Mint uh, makes it really, um, I guess, effective <laughs> to to track your money. So today, um, as you, if you've joined before, you know that on Monday we talk about Mint, and what I'm doing on the next few Mondays is actually going through every section of Mint and tell you what what it is that I do and why and why it's important. So. We already covered the cash section, really knowing where your balances are, where your money's going, and having a plan for that uh, for that money coming in and out. So today we're going to cover the credit card section. And so different people utilize credit cards differently. So first, I just, you know, as a disclaimer, to just share with you how I use credit cards and how I've always used them. So for me, um, I use credit cards as a utility, not as a source of credit or source of spending. So I have um, done this my entire life where I just saw, uh, you know, credit card was just a, a neat tool for me to be able to easily pay for things versus access some uh, some spending. So I've always paid off my credit cards in full. So this is going to be more applicable to people who do the same. Uh, but if you are working on getting down your debt and obviously tracking, this is also very important. So. Um, when I look at my credit card section, first of all, it gives me a total, right? So that nice thing is it gives you a summary of your total outstanding debt. So that's a, one of the numbers that you really need to know whether, again, whether you carry a, a debt or you're just, a, you know, you're paying your credit card off every month because you know that's sort of what's your outstanding um, balance. And one of the things that I advise is whatever your credit card debt is, where you want to get to if you're not there yet, is with all your other cash supplies is to make sure you're you're you should be aiming for 10x and I know when people when I say that and people hear it, they kind of get like a panic and um, but that if you're doing it right like if you've gotten to the point in your financial freedom journey where you have your emergency savings in cash and you're having a good cash flow 10 times in cash of what your credit card debt is is what you should be aiming for so but when we focus on credit card uh, <laughs> uh, and so uh, you have to uh, look at your outstanding debt so you need to know what your total what what you're on the hook for <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, you so you know that that's kind of your outstanding debt so you always should have that amount of money but the way that I use and so I have because I have a business I run uh, you know I have my business credit card through here one of the things I talk about is uh, is you know if you have a business owner it's so important to track your deductions uh, and therefore track your expenses so I actually run my personal and my business cards through that um, hello and so um, because most of them hi uh, most of them hi Moto um, <laughs> uh, yes, I have. Um, and so for, uh, when I go to transactions, most of my transactions will be through, uh, my credit cards, right? So, um, when I go through my transactions on my credit cards, I make sure that they are, well, first of all, 
I look for any transactions that, that look strange, right? So one of the things is once you start tracking your money, and thank you for the hearts, once you start tracking your money on a regular basis, and again, this is my daily habit where I just log on and sometimes it just takes like 10 seconds where I look at it and nothing happened since yesterday. But what I look is all the transactions that are, that are coming through. Um, and so I can say, oh, okay, here is the transaction I expected. Here's some that maybe I forgot because they're on some sort of a, an annual basis renewals. And one is I make sure that I mark all my business transactions uh, for, specific to my business. So even though uh, Mint will auto uh, auto mark them. I have a system where like, you know, I have, let's say I have a subscription to Wonderlist, right? And so it says business services because it is a business service, but I mark it as my, uh, I mark it specifically to my business. So I just change the transactions. And again, when you do it every day, you're not going to have so many transactions that you have to like go through pages and pages and it seems tedious. And this is why I emphasize the five minutes a day habit versus the like, let's try to reconcile at the end of the, at the end of the month. I actually can't even do that. It's way too tedious. I have gone years where I've kind of lapsed on this uh, habit. So now this habit I've had probably for, for maybe three or four years and the daily habit, I've probably sustained it more uh, in the last 12 to 18 months. But that's generally what I do is because all the credit cards bring in uh, a, you know, a single stream of transactions in a transaction screen and I can go in and I look for two things. One is any transactions that look strange. So if uh, sometimes I do transactions and I'm like, what the hell, where did it come from, right? And um, I'm kind of, by recalling what I did is saying, okay, I understand I spent this money or I made this transaction. I signed up for something, by the way. A lot of times when you have auto subscriptions and they renew, this is a really good place to remind you that you maybe have to cancel something that you're no longer using, right? So it's a constant reminder of saying, okay, what am I spending my money on? Am I marking it right? And uh, is there any fraud transactions? So one of the other things that I really like is that when I go in here, and there's a, uh, and this happened to me in August. I was out of the country, and all of a sudden I log into Mint, and there are like three transactions from the local grocery store for like $300. And I had my credit card with me, and this can happen. And obviously, like the, the credit cards are pretty good with identifying frauds. So they flag it for you. Um, but I knew ahead of time that someone has stolen my credit card information, made a card, uh, hello, and, uh, and then they used it. So fraud detection is huge. Uh, making sure you're sticking to your budgets, knowing where your money in your entire household is going. So whether you have a partner, whether you have children, all the other things that are flowing out, this is how you're going to, uh, to know where your money's going. So this is in the immediate sense. So know where it's going, look for fraud, mark every transaction in the category that you want it to be marked. And this is specifically important if you have any tax related deductions or business related deductions to mark them right away. Because I can guarantee you, when you go in there 10 days later, 20 days later, a month, the, night, the end of the month, when you're trying to like, if you, even if you have an accountant, accountant and tax professionals are not magicians. They only work with the information that you provide for them. So this is why it's so important. It's also a reminder of the things you've signed up for that you thought you were going to use and you never ended up using. It's like kind of a trigger to say, you know what, I should really reevaluate it. So this is why I really encourage this. This is how I use the, uh, the credit card section. So when it, in the transactions, I'm marking all my, uh, all my things, especially when they're business expenses expenses or tax deductions, knowing where my money's going, reminding myself. The other thing I look at the when I see the credit cards, so the credit card, um, what's nice in Mint is give you the upcoming bills uh, date. So it tells you when my, because my uh, all my credit cards are on auto pay and they are uh, in full, uh, pay in full. So if there is a bunch of charges, like I'll put my childcare through uh, on this. So it makes sometimes, you know, some months the bill really is large. I want to make sure that my cash flow is not going to be uh, impacted negatively. So then whatever the account that it's going to come out of, I need to be prepared. Prepared, right so sometimes I even put in my calendar like if a large bill is gonna come so I don't forget so that I'm not like oh look I have this extra money maybe I'll put this to investment so I plan out my cash flow for the month based on my credit card outstanding credit cards so that's really you know that's how I use it um, you know I always make sure that my credit cards are connecting to mint uh, I'm, I'm, I manage my money well <laughs> and so uh, and so I am um, 
So I, I make sure that all my credit cards flow through. If there was an issue, it's easier to fix it if it hasn't been like three months. Um, so again, if you're logging in and if there's a connection issue, like you, I check if it's a if it's a like a Mint.com or if it's just for me. Um, and then uh, and then yeah, analyze your transactions and you do it every day. And then prepare for your cash flow uh, if you have automated bills. So whether you have a minimum payment or a payment in full, know what it's going to be. And obviously, if you're working to to bring your consumer debt down, this is a place where you can see how you're making progress, right? So kind of anchor on the on the number, uh, understand where it's at. You do need to pay a little bit more attention, and I think do a little bit of a spreadsheet and a plan outside of Mint. But this is kind of where you're tracking and keeping yourself honest and saying, am I staying? Am I actually accomplishing the actions that I set out to for your money plan when you're trying to to um, get your consumer debt under control? But once you're out of it, this is the uh, and you, you're more in the using credit cards as a transaction, um, uh, you know, to track your transactions, then I think you're, you know, at that, like, at that more mature level, you're kind of in stage two, what I call stage two of financial, uh, financial independence, on the road to financial independence. Um, stage one is if you have any consumer debt, you're still in a stage one. You're kind of in the intense stage. Anyway, that's my... Um, that's today's um, how I use my mint uh, on the credit card section. Um, again, every week, uh, the, the series on these Mondays is on Monday we talk about mint, so I'm going to go through the other sections. The following Mondays, if, you, um, if you're following me, uh, thanks for the follow. If you are uh, new to me and you want to follow, I talk about money habits every single day of the week, seven days a week. Um, and we cover just uh, money management, encouraging people to develop better money habits. And then I talk about money matters, which is more in depth uh, in the afternoons, uh, twice a week, where I cover uh, basic uh, personal finance topics that I feel like people are not uh, intimidated by, are confused by, and we cover them so to give you guys more tools and to set you on the right path um, towards financial freedom or financial independence. So. Uh, thanks for joining. And I just wanted to uh, relay a little tidbit for anybody who's still sticking around. So yesterday I was on someone else's Periscope, Lisa Elman, and she's fantastic. Uh, she's a very active scoper, and she was doing a scope where she was reading out people's profiles. And she was reading out my profile, and she was very encouraging of what it is that I'm doing to really share on Periscope, to uh, on talking about financial management versus just like, you know, starting a business and making money and this topic that's really important. And it was really nice to hear because I'm here day in and day out. And um, tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm going to get to my hundredth scope. Uh, so it's a big deal for me. I mean, I'm still relatively new in social media, uh, two and a half months uh, in or so. Uh, but this is such an important topic that uh, for me, it's a passion. Um, I do feel like we need more financial literacy. And I really appreciated Lisa's encouragement uh, for, for continuing to do that. So uh, thank you. And thanks for everybody who does tune in and appreciate you guys. Uh, and I'm going to keep going because I do think it's important. And uh, I enjoy sharing this uh, with you. And if I can just help one person a day, <laughs> just one person, just change your one action that you take, it's totally worth it uh, for me. To, uh, to put in this time and effort and uh, continue keeping on. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Uh, and uh, hope you have a, a great day. And don't forget to set up your mint and check it every day. All right. Bye.